I've made a bit of progress with my Raspberry Pi powered heating controller. Um, I got a four channel relay board off of eBay. Uh, these are quite good because they'll switch mains voltage and they're also opto isolated from the from the board. Um, the, board the, the tracks underneath which will carry the mains voltage look like they've got sort of an insulating lacquer on them but uh, I'm not going to take any chances with that uh, and make sure that's well insulated. Um, over here I've got some LEDs to show the status of things. Uh, I've got a couple of switches with some fairly meaty capacitors to debounce those switches. I was getting some weird readings off the GPIOs um, when I, even with software debouncing so I've put those big caps in there. Uh, this goes off to the one wire temperature sensors. I've crimped that onto a, punched it down onto a back of a Cat5 socket so now I can solder my um, one wire sensors onto Cat5 and just plug them in here. Uh, and have them all hooked up. Uh, the software has proved to be a bit trickier than I was expecting but I've more or less got it working in sort of manual mode for now so um, just quickly run through the, the way it works. Go through a little initialization program just to make the relays work uh, and then it flashes this light to show that it's running and then down here are two buttons, one for hot water, one for central heating. So we push the hot water one, you can see the hot water light to come on uh, we turn it off again, on, off, on, off. Central heating, much the same. Central heating on, hot water on. So every combination thereof. Uh, what I've also done is um, this first relay will go off to the mains and then when um, you initialize the thing, the, it will be off so there'll be no power provided to the other relays until you manually switch it on. And you do that with a long press of this button so now all the other relays will have power. Uh, this means that when I initialize the thing or if it crashes, so if I stop this off and running, it will just cut the power to everything. So it's a, a little bit of safety just in case something goes horribly wrong. Right, well I'll keep uh, cracking on, get the software up to a, a better state and then I'll publish it on um, GitHub or something. Cheers.